Dear student, Assalamu alaikum and good morning to you all. You're welcome to Nasra Public School Online Teachings. Unit 1, Languages of the World, My Language, Your Language, Lesson 1, Part 3, Day 1. Students' learning outcome. At the end of this lesson, the students will be able to clearly understand the determiners, their usage in sentences, and use them in their own sentences. Now, use of English determiners. This is the section, grammar section given in your books. What are determiners? In my previous lesson, I have told you that determiners are the words that introduce a noun. They can, uh, they come right before the noun. They can be uh, either articles, they can be pronouns, they can be possessive pronouns, uh, they can be quantifiers, they can be uh, uh, numbers. So, determiners can come in many types. So, here we have been given determiners neither, each, every, all, both. Either we can use them simply or we can use off with them. Let's watch determiners. The Look at the underlined words in this example. Some students like to study in the morning. The word some points to the noun students and the points to the noun morning. These are known as determiners. A determiner comes at the beginning of a noun phrase to point out the noun or nouns. For example, I have a few friends. May I have another glass of water? A determiner tells us whether the noun phrase is specific or general. For example, My sister is a doctor. Here, my is specific determiner and a is a general determiner. When you refer to someone or something specific, use a specific determiner. Some specific determiners are the, my, your, his, her, its, are, their, whose, ones, this, that, these, those, which. When you refer to someone or something in general, use a general determiner. Some general determiners are a an, any, another, other, what, some, many, more, most, a little, less, least, a few, fewer, fewest, each, every, either, neither, whatever, Whichever, all, both, half, one, two, and so on. Words that act as determiners belong to different parts of speech. Use of, neither of. So, the formula here is neither of plus determiner plus plural noun. You can use neither of before a determiner. So this can be used before a determiner and determiner for neither of can be my, his, these, the, etc. And plus a plural noun. So here are some examples. Neither of my friends came to class today. So, neither of as in the formula is present in the beginning. Determiner is my plus plural noun is the friends. 
the second example neither of the parents understood what the baby was trying to say so neither of again as in the formula second the is the uh, determiner and plural, plural noun is the parents third example neither of our cars has enough petrol so we have to take to take the bus here again neither of in the beginning comes uh, after come uh, neither of in the beginning after it comes the determiner are and the plural noun in the end is cars now let's see use of both of first we have learned use of neither of now let's uh, see the use of both of so both of plus determiner plus plural noun is the formula you can use both or both of before a determiner anything can be used either both or both of it can be used either in the beginning of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence as well so the determiner can for both both of are my his these the etc okay now let's look at the examples both of my friends have arrived late to the class here as in the formula both of plus determiner is my then friends is the plural noun in the next sentence both of the wheels wobble too much now both of plus determiner the and plural noun wheels a prize was given to both of the players here both of plus the is the determiner and players is the plural noun now look, let's look at these ones use of each and every either each will be used or every will be used both will not be used at the same time the quantifiers each and every are a kind of determiner they have similar but not always identical meaning each also means one every also means one but they have similar meanings but not exactly the same we always use them with a singular countable noun okay now here uh, is each means every one regarded individually and every means every one regarded as a whole we say each one means that we are uh, addressing every individual person as one unit so here is each uh, each is used and every is used as a whole unit like uh, every class like every team every country so this is a whole unit and each is like each student each soldier in the army so each will be used for every individual okay now here are the examples every artist is sensitive so they are talking about all the artists around the world as a whole so all the artists are sensitive so every artist is sensitive the next one each artist sees things differently now they are they are talking about each individual artist see things differently next one every soldier saluted the president as he arrived now they are talking about all the soldiers that every soldier saluted the president and now as individually the president gave each soldier a medal now they are talking about the soldiers individually now let's look at the example uh, use of all and both we use all to refer the whole group or everyone or thing in the group all means that nothing and or no one has been left out all means nothing has been left out or no one has been left out now for examples i want to see all of the students in my office now so here all means all the students those are present next all of the birds flew away now here also they are referring to all the birds that were sitting somewhere the last example i have used up all of our eggs now all the eggs were that were present have been used up so for the summary of this lesson how uh, so far what we have learned today in today's lesson we have learned that determiners are words that introduce a noun they always come before a noun second 
four types of determiners third words that are used either with determiners or as determiners like neither of both of all of each every and lastly the rules and usage of these determiners thank you for watching i hope you have understood it by now if you have any further queries or concerns you can write in the class comments in your edmodo section thank you for watching allah hafiz have a good day